my point of view, white people, they are the first people who say Vaudou is not good, is heavy, but it's they are the first people who come to visit Vodou and they want to know the secret of Vodou in Benin. I don't know why. A few weeks ago, I received a call from someone. Come uh, 10th January 2023, I would like you to be part of this, the Vodou Festival. Vodou Festival? I have no idea that such festival exists, so I had to do my own research. Voodoo a religion? Why do Africans practice Voodoo? This is what I found. Benin is actually the home of Voodoo. And never knew that in Benin, Voodoo is completely normal. Completely normal? From my search results, I got scared. Because in 2019, I did a video practicing voodoo for the first time and I lost a thousand people in one hour. Does it mean this time around, I'm gonna lose a million people? So if voodoo is normal in Benin and practice in Ghana, Togo, Nigeria, then my next question will be like, is voodoo really evil? Or voodoo is misjudged? Le voodoo n'est pas mauvais. Et c'est ceux qui sont en train, qui sont les répondants du vaudou qui leur donnent ce message mauvais, qui euh, exploitent le côté mauvais du vaudou. Donc euh, le vaudou ça fait du bien, ça vous sauve des, des moments difficiles et, et autres. Vous sollicitez le vaudou à n'importe quel moment il est là. Donc le vaudou, la réalité est là, euh, le bonheur est là et tout. Donc il suffit de demander ce que vous voulez et le vaudou vous apporte. I came yesterday from Africa reach the voodoo because three years ago I was there, I was a businessman and I came, I talked to this voodoo. I say I want a good place in uh, in administ in politics. When I go back to Guinea, they just nominate me like the consul of Guinea in Ivory Coast. So as an African who is on a journey to educate Africans about their culture and heritage, I had to pack my things and go check out this mysterious festival that I had no idea it exists. We are finally in Wida. This is where the festival is gonna take place. Today is definitely going to be a good day and this festival takes place every 10th January. It's an annual festival and actually today is a holiday in Benin. The whole country is going to enjoy the Voodoo Festival. This is the city of Wida, locally known as Glehue. One of the foremost cities that have encountered the arrival of the colonizers, especially the Portuguese. So it has become a historic city in the history of Benin. This is the first city that got in contact with the Europeans. So I wonder, the voodoo community never did anything. I don't know, man. Just, just let's go in there and then just go have some fun with the voodoo culture. Man. streets of Rida and the atmosphere in here is massive. You can see currently the cane is roaming in the street and basically I don't know what's happening man. Let me, let me, I think I need to ask a question. The festival has not started yet. No, these are the preliminaries uh, right leading towards the, the main event at uh, the beach. So, so, uh, so they, they are so going through town, okay, performing basic uh, rituals, okay. visiting temples, visiting uh, deities okay. before they reach the beach for the grand deba, for the grand gathering. So this is the king, the, the king himself? Yeah, this is the king of Wida, okay. uh, going around town before hitting the festival ground. Wow. Yeah. It's customarily that he goes through town, probably informing uh, deities that he's going to do something grand for them at the beach. That's incredible, man. And you can see that everyone is there in their numbers, walking with their kid. A lot of people can believe that. Trust 
thing in Vodou, it can be from villages. No, I'm well educated. Yeah. You know? I'm an engineer. engineer. <laughs> but I'm trusting in Vodou. I trust in God, of course. But why people are going to apply to me and telling me to forget my God and to say the religion, Jesus, is the best? I believe in what we have in our, in our land before the come. The presence of voodoo in the Caribbean is the testament of the transatlantic slave trade. To the extent that when I came to this festival, I saw so many different people from the Caribbean present to celebrate their ancestors. You came for the festival? For the festival, yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's a four time I'm coming already. Whoa! Four time, yeah. I'm from, I'm from Suriname, South America. Why do you have to come every time, man? This is an international festival, uh -huh. food festival. It's our heritage. So we from the diaspora, we have to bring back the information what we gather here, bring back for our people back home in the diaspora. In, in, in Suriname, do you guys practice voodoo? Yes, also, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Winty. We call it Winty. Winty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm learning a new word today. <laughs> All right, it's nice to meet you, man. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, Maya. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, hi. You're still from Suriname? Yes. You came for the festival? No, no, this is my second time. Second time? Yes. Why is it so important to you to be at this festival? Because it is the best festival to promote food. And food is the authentic religion of West Africa. My grandparents came from Africa. So in the diaspora, we were looking for the traces from the original African spirituality so that we can reconnect. We are bringing our forefathers, we are bringing their back. Back home! Yes! That's beautiful! That's what huh? we do. My name is Baba Kenneth Fesh Baba. In Haiti, which is a country in the Caribbean, apparently Buddhism played an important role during emancipation. Besides the fact that revolution was sparked by a voodoo ceremony, voodoo enabled the people to meet together, form political and cultural ideals, and served as the staggering arena for pro-independent speakers to get their messaging across. I was not shocked to see my people representing at the festival. We're happy to be here. We and represent the Haitian population. You travel all the way people. from Haiti to here? Traveling all the way from New York. It's from Berkeley. Oh, okay. From everywhere. Why is this so important to you? Oh my God, that's my country. We, this is we in love. We, oh. That's where we from. We Our ancestors are from Wida. So we're here for the first time, some of us, to show our respect and appreciation. You're from Haiti, right? In Haiti? We from, you are from Haiti. Oh, wow. In Haiti, both Christianity and Voodoo exist, coexist, right? And it's Voodoo. A, and it's, it's exactly the same thing in here. Voodoo. How does it make you feel when you come in here? There is I'm another wrong. time about this. Another we time. are Voodoo and we are Voodoo. Voodoo. Christianity is Christianity. Voodoo. Let, let's keep it that way. Okay. okay? Let's right. keep it that we way. We Voodoo. You Voodoo? Voodoo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Asian voodoo. <laughs> represent Haiti. Look at me, look at me. Thank you. Yeah, I come from Grand Rav in New York to here for voodoo. <laughs> On my journeys across Africa, I found myself in Togoville, and it was shocking to see that Christianity and voodooism coexist in here. Even what is the very important is that in 1985, the Pope John Paul II, mm -hmm. so he came here. He came here? Yeah. And when he came here, there's a lot of people, and he was welcomed by the voodoo priest who make a ceremony to welcome the pop here. Oh, so the main religion that, that is here yeah, is voodoo, the yeah. voodoo. Yeah. And right now they have the Catholic Church, Church also yeah. in here. So which yeah. means that we have two religions in here, the voodoo and, and Catholic. And Catholic. Yeah, no yeah. Muslims in no, here. No, 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 no. It was shocking to know that it's the exactly the same thing that happens in Haiti. And being in Wither for the first time, it was shocking to see exactly the same thing over here. We are just in front of uh, the Temple of Python here in Wida, and behind us you can see the cathedral, which is a Catholic church, the basilica. There's only a space of about 30 meters in between the two worship places. 
This is traditional worship of the Python, one of the original deities in this country. So in order to preserve this deity, they have kept a temple for it here in Wida. The Python do not harm, they can go out, go through town, be fed and return to this place. It's a real python. Well, I can only smile at this point. If anyone goes stray, you find it, you bring it back to this place. You mean the pythons do not harm people? They do not harm. They are harmless creatures. You sure the pythons have been released sometimes? I know they are released into town to go and get people oh, oh. in their houses and be fed and they return here. It's been here for over 200 centuries. The people have kept this deity for generations. Okay? They are so, they are harmless, they are friends, like we have uh, other people. Where are you going? Where are you? I'm <laughs> Snakes. Nah, 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 even a dead snake, I don't want to get closer. Oh my goodness, look at how brave the lady is. So if you want to come back, you can come to us. Python don't have teeth, they don't have venom. And one day on the mob, they are oh open the door. How are you? I'm good. I'm so happy to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you for all what you're doing for us African. You have to come to Sudan. I'm coming. North Sudan. I'm coming. Yes, you, you must come. Me. So, so why must the king come in here? Yeah, it's a deity, so the king must pay some respect this morning before going for the grand festival at the beach side. I've been to so many festivals, but I've never been to such a big and massive festival like this before. We're actually heading to the Deba Ground, and as you can see, so many cars that are parked, some are still moving, trying to find a place to park, just to witness such a beautiful day. Man, wow. Can't believe that I never knew that something like this exists in here. to the Deba grounds and it was filled with thousands of people from different parts of the world to witness such a colorful rituals and energetic performance of the voodoo worshippers. festival commemorates victims of slave trade between the 16th and the 19th century. It was a way of resisting slavery. Our brothers, sisters and parents were gone to the other side of the Atlantic. We didn't know where or when they could come back. So it was said that rituals needed to be performed so that they could come back. So this has been going on for decades to say that what is bad must not be repeated. Le Bénin a travaillé à cela et c'est une fierté pour le Bénin aujourd'hui que ses descendants reviennent sur la terre source. Il y a même des Haïtiens, les Martiniquais euh, qui sont partis aux États-Unis un peu partout, qui sont revenus juste connaître que leurs aïeux avaient quitté cette terre. C'est une plus-value pour le Bénin. C'est une source de richesse aussi pour le Bénin parce que quand ils vont revenir, ils vont revenir avec leur famille, ils vont venir construire et se sentir béninois en réalité. Donc, Le gouvernement aussi est en train de travailler à cela avec tous les travaux euh, liés au tourisme, euh, la réhabilitation des sites touristiques, tout ça. Donc c'est une bonne chose. Good to see you. Good to see you too, bro. Yeah, you, you came specifically for this festival. Yes. Why is it so important to you? 
for me, Budu or Obia was our first religion before we were introduced to any other organized religion. So it's in our blood. It's part of us as Africans. We're, it's, it's part of who we are. You know, you could believe or you could not believe, but it's part of who we are. And it's how we, we act. We, we use different aspects to our benefit. So to me, voodoo is, is not negative. Voodoo is uh, it's a religion. It's a, it's a natural religion. Um, it's something that should be accepted instead of feared. So that's what voodoo rem uh, remains to me. That's how I feel about voodoo. It's a part of us, you know. And my African ancestry is this. We are one piece. If we do not include our history into our lives, nobody will know about it. And we have to continue to understand and respect the voodoo. Life. Life, life, yeah. yes. Basic. It's in Africa. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. my, my ancestor is uh, from Africa, so it's a uh, hood. It's really a uh, hood. So that's why I come here for to see, for to leave this one. Connecting back to the home of voodoo, how does that make you feel? I feel wonderful. Every time I come to the continent, I feel something different and I feel something new. And this is a new experience. So I am connecting. I'm connecting with the earth, with the people, with the culture. I am connecting. Always. But I want to give you props for your program. Yes. I watch it every time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Oh, everybody. I look you all the time. And it was time for final performance, and I think everyone was just waiting for this one. There is nothing in there, but it keeps moving. Uh, it can even dance. And for them opening it and realizing that there's nothing in it, because to me, I thought there was something in there. I couldn't believe it. Does it mean it was a snake that was moving this this whole time? Believe me or not, I've never seen or experienced anything like this before. But hey, it's not done. Let's head to the final phase of this festival. So this is the third phase of the whole festival, right? Yeah, this is the evening program. What is happening or what is going to happen? What's going to happen is that we're going to experience a festival called Egungun. A goon goon, say it after me. A uh, goon goon. What does that mean, by the way? Uh, in the local language, mm -hmm. they are called Kuvito, the a spirit of the dead. And the language that we all understand? Oh, the spirit of the dead? Yeah. That's wow. So Which manifests through people, through dances, and. Uh, are they, are they going to wake the spirit up today? No. They, you they, don't see, oh, they, they, they're going to manifest them. through people. You don't see them, but you see them dancing. festival but I to be honest I don't really like what is happening I feel like it's more touristic than being spiritual you know um, yeah I'm here having a great time but the fact that 
like I'm surrounded by tourists, man. You can't even enjoy anything. It's literally not what I expected. Because I really wanted to see the real voodoo culture. I mean, experience it, immerse myself, learn something new, learn something different. But I, at the moment, what I'm saying, I'm not impressed, man. Because it's like they are selling the values and the culture to other people. Let me know what you think, man. This is what I do. Yeah, that's a, uh, a painting of a uh, gung gung. And guess who did it? Where the gentleman? This is the guy. The genius behind it. So it, it means, does it mean that he paints everything or he just paints a gung gung? It's a little show here. The portrait, it's abstract. It's very abstract. Okay. I do a lot of things. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm on the social media. There's a lot of things. Et si la personne doit me contacter directement okay. sur mon numéro, c'est le 99, 90, 95, 95. The man just gave them the money. He, yeah, he's did, they, did they ask for the money? No, he's appreciating their, their, their kindness, what they are doing. Are they, are they going to bless the man? Yeah, they pronounce blessings, spiritual blessing upon spiritual him. Spiritual blessing so, upon him. Yeah, so this is the masquerade in Benin. And uh, they have just paid homage to him. What, what, what did they do to you? He told me that uh, I can have uh, everything in my world. Okay, he, he prayed. To oh, me. for you? Yeah, for So me. you believed in it? Yeah. And you know that it's going to happen? Yeah. Oh, and you gave them money? Or they <laughs> asked for the money? Yeah, yeah, I gave, no, no. You, I you gave, gave them? I gave, I gave him. From your by, heart? By, by myself, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. As a Ghanaian, attending a festival in Benin, this is my first time. But I feel like the festival is too commercialized. Yeah. You don't think so? Yeah, I think so because um, this year is uh, the first time I saw many people who come to uh, from Nigeria, Ghana, and Ethiopian, and all the African people who like to visit uh, Benin. But I encourage people to call next uh, next year to come and visit okay. Benin. About but was it always like this? This, was no, it always no, no. like this? It's not always like this. Was it more local before? More local before. Don't you so, think? Don't you think that we are losing the, the, the heritage and the yeah, value yeah, yeah, by yeah. making it like yeah, this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I think, I think because we are losing. Even yeah. this morning when I came, the locals were just standing and watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, yeah. we, the tourists, are like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I was like, what's what's going on? I mean, I, I thought it's a festival. The people need to yeah, get yeah, involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you see, many people they are not. Uh, I don't know how to say it. The diaspora, they are not include they are safe a lot, a lot. The Benin diasporans. The diasporans from Benin. They don't include themselves in their culture. Too much, too much, no. Not oh. like Ghanaians. Oh, why? Because they see voodoo, like juju, they want to kill people, you see. Oh, really? Is that is the, 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 the point. Nah, nah, but they're now. scared of but now it's the people from outside that are now. Oh, people want to come and even the, the, I feel like there are more white people here than black people. Yeah, I don't know why, because now I saw many people come from Portuguese, come from Spanish, come from Brazil, who come and visit them. Benin people, local around come and visit that show. We are we are scared because we, they painted voodoo to be what. Evil. Uh, my point of view, white people, they are the first people who say Vodou is not good, is evil, but is they are the first people who come to visit Vodou and they want to know the secret of Vodou in Benin. I don't know why. This is my point of view. What's going on? What's happening? What's happening? Why is everybody... They pray, they pray for the... Uh, like, the whole congregation, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, every abomination needs to go up. <laughs> wow, hey! We all praying, bro. You're not praying? Yeah, pray. pray, man. Yeah, every, every evil needs to go. <laughs> to the worshippers of Voodoo, Voodoo is life. Voodoo is a belief. And to you out there watching this video, what does Voodoo mean to you? And why are you so scared 
of voodoo i mean on this note thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one please don't unsubscribe because of this voodoo video i love and i appreciate you all we are exploring africa and telling our own story Aya Maya. peace out oh,